St. Mary's DSG secondary school pupils say racism been going unchecked for decades. The pupils used their break time to demonstrate at the school, but they went alone. Their parents were there to lend support by holding their own protest outside the institution. The school's chairperson received the memorandum and promised to look into the issues raised. This month marks a year since our school was called to action to address the serious concerns raised by members of our community. This was a significant event in our school's history that engaged the wheels of change for our school. The voices from our community were heard and resulted in the school reflecting on the existing practices, policies and systems to discern which serve the present community and which do not. The school acknowledges its shortcomings and in the past year has worked on gaining a deeper understanding of the systemic causes of the call to action. This video includes the reflections of a cross-section of stakeholders as we mark this one-year anniversary and recommit to the ongoing work to transform our school and ensure that everyone knows that they belong. Hello, my name is Igbe Oyegu and I'm the Principal uh, Consultant with Navigate Consulting Africa. Navigate was invited from September last year, September 2020, to work with St. Mary's DSG Pretoria in putting together a, a culture and transformation strategy, one that um, listens to and, and moves beyond, um, in a sense, the hashtag 2020 and all that happened there. And while 2020 was certainly a pivotal year for the school, what, what we see in the work that we're doing with the school is, is a hopefulness, a pride in the brand, and a willingness to really come together to make sure that the school continues to be a place where students can fly, where students can thrive. We have enjoyed um, working through this time. It hasn't always been easy. Um, there have been difficult conversations to be had, but what, what keeps us going and what encourages us, as I said, is this real belief in the value that the school has and the pride that, that parents, staff, students um, and the, the school governing body have in the school. Our goal for this year was to create a safe and welcome environment within DSHE for both staff and student members. We've been given the opportunity to host a variety of workshops, including that of African History Month, Black History Month, as well as Pride History Month. Our progress that we've had in this past year has been wonderful. We just hope that this continues in the future. I know tomorrow is going to come because I've seen her. She stands tall against the blue backdrop of the sky, and we built her, keeping her inside of our wrists next to where the pulse lies. What I took from the racial literacy class held in 2020 was that I learned a lot about my peers and I learned what they've personally experienced. Um, I learned that it's very important to be kind and to be respectful to people regardless of who they are and that everybody has their differences and people shouldn't be treated differently just because of these differences. I am Pandemina Mathoma, the Vice Head of Boarding at St. Mary's GSG. And the insight and one of the lessons I have learned from the Transformation and Diversity workshops is that change is inevitable. Change is going to happen whether we like it or not and how we proceed with the change will inevitably affect our outcome. The aim is not to walk away from this unscathed. However, the aim is for us to grow and develop and learn together on this journey. To being able to sympathize and empathize and understand other people by looking at different perspectives is what we aim to do. I love the workshops because we learn so much from each other and we get to understand from many different points of views what the certain subject that we're talking about and i'm happy with the change that has happened so far they we still have a long journey ahead of us and we have just begun but i can't wait to see what we are able to achieve in the next couple of months or years that are to come 
My name is Sikelele Gile Pasama and I am the Vice Head Girl of St. Mary's DSG. So last year in the year 2020, we had transformation and diversity workshops. With this being said, the most valuable lesson that I learned from the workshops was the importance of community and how important it is for us to come together as a united front to be the change we wish to see in the world. With this being said, I am extremely proud of the change that has taken place thus far and I can't wait to see where we're headed in the near future. Thank you. So I think that the new hairdos at the school, they're more fair and it's more fair for also um, the different people like black people, they're allowed to dye their hair in different natural colours before they went. So I really think that um, the school has improved in uh, mentioning or the new, the new hair guidelines, they, they have improved and I'm happy with what I'm seeing. Hi everyone, my name is Gugu Mbele. I am a representative of the senior high school. I am super happy with the progress of the ITC committee this year. I must say we have done so many things in order to help out in transforming our school. I'm looking forward to another year of more transformation. The restorative justice sessions in the junior school I found played an integral part in our transformation and diversity journey. The restorative justice facilitators created a safe space where we as teachers could share our fears and hopes over our relationships with our students, including issues such as discipline, meeting the needs of our students, and partnering with our parent body. In terms of relationships with others, it was empowering to learn about superimposing the values of responsibility, courage and trust over the conventional roles we categorize ourselves in, the victim, the savior or the persecutor. Star valued the discussion about the importance of listening empathetically and managing our own anxieties when having to have difficult conversations. We look forward to further restorative justice sessions, which will be practical sessions between staff and students. Transformation remains a priority in our school. There are strategies put in place to focus and advance diversity and inclusion in our community. I see progress. It is wonderful to see the community wanting to be part of this process and embracing change. The work I've been doing in the ITC is I'm representing the support staff uh, to liaise with them the information that we get from different people. We you know that uh, with ITC it's about changing people's perspective and making them think maybe in a team uh, because we're coming from different backgrounds. So many people have got their own thoughts and some, some are suppressed. So we try to get everyone to express how we feel so that we can come to a common ground. The past year has been short yet long. With the COVID pandemic and our girls showing great courage through the Black Lives Matter protest, DSG has made great strides. As a member of the governing body, interim transformation committee and as a parent, this is indeed a season where we are putting the past behind us a season of growth and a season of progress, seeing decades and decades of institutionalized racism and discrimination coming to an end. This is definitely not an easy journey and it will take time, but we are committed to seeing change soon. The ITC has been working around the clock to assist the governing body and the school management to path a way forward to a better DSG. Some of the work that is being done by the ITC includes the review of the school's constitution and various policies, engagement with staff and learners, and continued training on what this journey of transformation requires from all its stakeholders. This work will provide a foundation for the implementation of new rules and processes that will protect, promote, and nurture an environment that is conducive to all girls. As we celebrate more than 140 years, we are reminded that DSG has a rich history and established school and we want to see DSG great again. We want to see a school where the democratic rights of every child is protected and promoted at an educational level. May God bless DSG. 
So the insights that I've gained this year um, over the last year since last year's events with regards to you know the transformation and diversity journey is that it's given a lot of learners and staff as well a platform in order to raise their concerns and be heard in order to bring about change in areas that they're looking to adapt and accommodate and it, it, it's um you know when we say are we what are we looking for hopeful for the future is i'm already hopeful at the present because interactions with my learners and interactions with my tutor groups i'm having very positive interactions my learners i think are feeling free and the freedom to that they can express themselves um, especially in my tutor group when we have discussions they are open they're bringing their problems they are giving praise and thanks for what has been changed and what is coming about so i'm really feeling very positive about it because um, i'm actually feeling that feedback um, within my learners and uh, i'm yeah, looking forward to continuing with that Greetings, uh, St. Mary's DSG community. My name is Miss Ida Makafola and I am the Junior School Head of Transformation and Diversity. Um, and I'm also a member of the Interim Transformation and Diversity Committee. The work of the um, ITC has been focused on reviewing policies such as our bullying policy, um, our social media policy, and one of the biggest um, projects that we've been working on um, in this time has been on our hair guidelines for both the Junior School and the Senior School. Um, so at the moment our, um, our hair guidelines have been trialled with um, both schools and we are moving towards a ratification process. Um, the transformation and diversity journey um, in the junior school um, has been focused on um, assemblies as well that um, help the girls as well as our staff um, get a sense of pride in both um, our junior school, um, DSG pride as well as the pride that we should all have in our country so our work is not yet done and there's still lots um, to be done um, but I'm confident that with your support as well um, our journey will be worthwhile. I think what I appreciate most about the work that St Mary's has done in transforming and ensuring diversity is the fact that there have been so many workshops, meetings, interviews and investigations to ensure that the school is a favourable environment for the girls. Um, we have hired professionals, the best in the game, the best that are renowned um, across the country and across the continent to really drill down into what went wrong and to conduct interviews with the individuals that are, are the heart of the school being the girls themselves or the pupils themselves or the students themselves rather. So I think all of the concerted intentional effort that has been made in ensuring that the, the environment in the school is better and is favorable and is a wonderful place to be educated as a student in 2021 is what I most appreciate and is what I've observed at St. Mary's. The last year has been quite a journey for us here at Mary's DSG. It's a journey full of hope and full of promise. And our scriptures are replete with examples of journeys and crossing over to the other side. The Israelites had to cross over the Red Sea, then they had to cross the wilderness. Jesus, after talking about mustard seeds and various other things, he says in Mark chapter 4, he invites his disciples to cross over to the other side. A wonderful invitation, but an invitation that is fraught with scary things like storms and a very troubled man on the other side. But in amongst it all, Jesus says to those storms, peace be still. And so we will find peace and stillness as we continue to journey with Jesus in these times. That's Mary's DSG. It has been a privilege to join St. Mary's DSG at such a pivotal moment in its history. We acknowledge that the road ahead is long and never ending. You have heard of the work that has been done by the school and numerous stakeholders. All the voices matter in this space because the power and wisdom of the collective is required to make effective, meaningful and lasting change. Change has already begun to raise its head 
and its impact can be felt throughout the school. Know that we are dedicated and committed to creating and putting in place systems and practices that promote and facilitate a culture of care and belonging for all our girls and staff. We invite you to join us on this exciting journey where together we can write a new and evolutionary chapter in our history books that will reverberate through the next 142 years.